hello guys now in this particular video we will be learning about the operators okay so let me first discuss with you what we will be covering in this particular video so we will go first with uh, arithmetic operators then we will go with uh, relational and the boolean and so on okay so i hope uh, uh, you guys have completed our previous video so now let's just create the new script that is 08 operators dot sh okay just add the hash bang or bin she bang you can say okay now i will create uh, one variable n1 enter n1 and i will create the variable name as n1 read hyphen p enter n2 Give the variable name as n2, then uh, I will echo. I will do addition is or just addition. So, to for in cell, how you do it? We cannot write like this n1 plus n2. There is a proper syntax for it. You need to write like this n1 plus n2. Okay, or you can inside also you can give dollar, but uh, there is no need. Okay so now in this way you can write the expression inside these two parentheses and the dollar sign outside of that expression okay so uh, let me just uh, run this script once i will give first the certain permission to this file and then i will execute it d08 and n1 is 4 4 that is 8 yeah we are going to go now now i will just uh, copy all these things like addition so here we, you can go with the subtraction what i'm doing wait subtraction then here you can go for multiplication and here division okay and next uh, we can go with modulus also so let's go with modulus modulus okay m o d u l u s okay modulus now let's give the operator like here it will be percent uh let me just write like this so that it will be easy to read for you for division you have to give this forward slash for multiplication you know this star and for the subtraction there is the minus okay so let's run this script and we will get the output for each and every number so i will give the 10 and 5 so as you can see the addition is 15 subtraction is 5 multiplication is uh, uh, 50 division is 2 and modulus is 0 why because modulus gives you the remainder okay if you do uh, 3 by 2 then in that case you will get the remainder as 1 so as you can see the modulus is 1 okay now next uh, you can do increment operator and decrement operator also you can use so how you can do it uh, using plus plus and minus minus okay so I will do echo increment so here we will use dollar and what you have to increment n1 plus plus or what you can do plus plus n1 it will first increase and then print the value okay so let's just run the script clear enter the n1 5 5 so as you can see increment is 6 okay in case if you do n1 plus plus so here we will not see the increment because it first prints the value then increments okay so in this case we will get the value as 5 here okay so but now what we will do if we will echo the n1 then we will get the 6 okay so let me just clear the screen enter 5 5 okay so now here you can see you have got the 6 so i hope you got the concept of increment and decrement if plus plus is after the variable name then it will first print then it will increment if plus plus is first then it will increment then print okay so similar case with decrement echo decrement 
where is the dollar and you have to do minus minus n2 use yeah n2 we can use and here also i i do uh leave it as it is so clear the screen enter n15 n26 and now decrement value with 6 uh, first it was 7 then now it is 6 okay so i hope you got it uh, how the things are working okay so now let's check with the, some relational operators like equal to equal to greater than equal to less than equal to greater than less than all those things okay now you have to just echo yeah, i'm writing just automatic operators okay just copy it and you have to go there and just write here relation, uh, re, relational operators okay i just uh, uh comment out these things okay so now what we have to do so now we will use this relational operator with uh, the if else so till now we have not covered the if else but uh, still we can use it okay so how will you do it uh, we will use if and then the big bracket this is uh, the whatever the condition we will write in this so dollar n1 and we use gt for greater than and dollar n2 okay and then so don't worry i will uh, teach you about if else in our next video okay so you have to just echo n1 greater than n2 like this and then you have to close the if block okay so gt means greater than and there are also many like gt for greater than and ge for greater than equal to and uh, lt for less than le for greater than equal less than uh, equal to n e for not equal to okay like this you can uh, use okay so we will use first gt and then we will use other options in next okay so now you can uh, run the script 08 and i will write 5 and 4 so here you can see yeah n1 is greater than n2 now I will change the uh, G to G E and I will write here greater than equal to. So now let me just clear the screen and run the script again. So 5 and 5. So yeah, N1 greater than equal to it. The, this line is executing and you can do now LT if N1 less than equal to. So N1 less here I will do and I will again run the script so five four five so yeah and one less than n2 it is executing again less than equal to so we can use like this mm, four four yeah it is executing we can use hyphen eq to check equality hyphen eq we can do like this five five yeah so here we have not changed but still you can uh, you can think like okay so now what we do 5 and 5 and here you can see n1 equal to n2 so in this way we can use the relation operators now let me tell you about the and operator so and operator is nothing but if both the condition becomes true then the then the uh, whatever inside that condition will be executed okay so if n1 equal to n2 and i use a hyphen a option to check and <laughs> and operator and i will check if dollar n1 is greater than 1 okay if this is the case then this line will be executed okay so n1 i will write 5 5 and n1 greater than 1 yes so okay i am getting some error here okay you can write like this clear 5 5 yeah now here you you uh, got the like output as n1 equal to n2 now what i will do i write 0 0 and let's check what happens whether we will get any output or not so here we are not getting any output but now we can use hyphen o option for or operator okay so let me just clear this screen and uh, use like this hyphen uh, 0 0 so in this case you it, the like this condition is equal 
like this condition satisfies n1 equal to n2 that's why this particular line has been executed okay so in this way and and uh, operator and or operator works so that's all for today's videos guys i hope you liked it and yeah if you have any query then you can ask us in the comment section and uh, i will surely update this code in our github repository i will add the link in our description so that's all for today i will meet you in the next video thank you thank you for watching